Hey YouTubers, uh, it's me again, uh, another visa update, just a short and sweet one, following on from the next one. So I'm um, just talking about leave to remain. So the application has now been submitted, it was done last week, and the forms have been sent. So very briefly, cutting to the chase and what I did, is I finished those sections off in the form, everything was sweet with the information, it was correct. Um, so I hit submit on that form. Um, and instantly it's taken me to the NHS surcharge page so it's linked me through to the NHS kind of um, surcharge page where I paid £500 I paid that on the credit card I went through it then gave me like a unique NHS reference number it linked me back to the main visa page um, and it put the NHS reference number in next to parallel to my visa page. So we're going to pay the 993, which is the application for leave to remain. Slight problem. The bank decided to block the payment for all of their worldly security um, and decided to text me with like a release code. But unfortunately, the release code went to an old mobile phone number. So that was not a pleasant um, trying to get in contact with the bank to say no I paid one payment for £500 which is for the NHS surcharge you need to release the payment for 993 which is for the visa which is banks you know bank security there's nothing to do with the home office that was a problem with the bank so anyway yeah, long story short I've paid the two and a half years of the surcharge £500 and I paid the leave to remain application fee which is 993 so straight away I've done that I've started to receive various PDFs from the Home Office one was a confirmation letter saying it's been submitted uh, and proof of payment the second was a checklist which you have to print off the checklist is confirmation of the documents that you are agreeing with in your application to send so for example let's say passport you have to tick it partner's passport bank statements, way slips, letter from your employer, blah, 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 blah. Everything you've agreed within the application to send, you have to print off a checklist, tick it, and submit that with, it, submit that with your application. There was also, um, alongside the confirmation of the payment, there was also a new bit which was a little bit we weren't sure about. It was a letter asking us to attend a post office in the UK that has... Um, biometric direct link capability to the home office it's some services that one particular post office in your area might support it was basically you have to go to the post office and you get given like a well it's this letter really basically telling you what to do um, and you get this as barcode and you go into the post office with this you hand it over, you pay £19.20 requesting a home office biometric um, service. Um, Melissa then had to go into a booth, she had to give the fingerprints again. Bearing in mind she's already previously given them in VFF in Manila, so why are you having to give you biometrics twice? Don't quite understand that. But anyway, fingerprints, signature. Uh, digital retina scan of your face um, five minute thing uh, the problem you'll find though is finding a post office that offers that service because I live in Manchester quite literally I've got 20 post offices all within a 5, 10 minute, 15, 20 minute drive for me there was only two post office in Manchester that offered that service which is your home office biometric service uh, spoke to the girl in the post office apparently all that data goes direct to the home office the only thing we were left to left with was the receipt and we were told just keep that that's your copy so in summary um application has been filled in it's been submitted it's been paid for nhs surcharge has been paid for bios have been done uh you get the address of where to send all the documents to in the letter sheffield so posted all documents to Sheffield um, and that's it as far as we're concerned now it's just a case of waiting eight weeks for them to process our application 
um, it's waiting again. Um, bits I found hard. Application form relatively easy. Standard questions you should know the answer to. Um, did find making the payments hard, but that wasn't an issue with the Home Office. That was an issue with the bank putting on security blocks on the pavement, which really did not make it. Actually, it was quite stressful, to be honest, because of that situation with the bank blocking the pavement. Um, other than that, it wasn't too bad. Physically, uh, mailing the items is okay. Bios in the post office is okay. Um, there's a few anal things in, in relation to forms, like printing off the checklist, signing it, ticking it. You've got to sign off quite a few declaration forms as well, which you've got to sign, uh, which give the Home Office um, authority to investigate any accounts you've got. So say, for example, you said um, we're both joint named on the council tax. You're giving them permission to get in contact with the council tax and do checks on you behind your back to make sure what you've said is true. So there's a few things like that. So yeah, so basically for us at the minute, the application has been submitted and now we wait. Um, that's it. So what's it cost me? Um, Visa £993 and two and a half years of the surcharge for the NHS, which was £500. So £1,493 in total. But that then hopefully should cover us for a two and a half year visa. Um, fingers crossed. Okay, guys, I'll keep you updated. And uh, well, wish us luck.